did you, um... Mean what you said in there? What? About me? Of course I did. <laughs> well, there is something that I suppose I should tell you. I already know it. Oh, Beckett, you can be so dim. <laughs> You'd have kept me in the dark forever, wouldn't you? I hoped I wouldn't. some principle involved. Well, we're here. contact was at 1900 hours. This is a code alpha priority. I need to know exactly what happened here. Beckett, I think I've got something. Heading northwest. I'm sure it's her. She's not 100% match, Nick. Look, it's her, I know it. Just let me get a confirmation. No, leave it to me, I'm nearly there. Yes. I want traffic surveillance units and satellite mainframe access immediately.
DOIC, I can't authorize diverting any more revenue into this. I'm sorry, but it is just one agent. One human being. And one of my best operatives. I have to find her. For all I know, she could have just walked out on you. All the evidence points to an extremely violent abduction. Madam Chairman. General Russell. I understand the sense of duty DOIC must feel towards her people. If you'd like to talk to me privately afterwards, my department may be able to offer some assistance. Let me see. Beckett. They need to take it. She's out there somewhere, Jen. She's, she's hiding, she's on the run. I just feel so helpless. We're doing all we can. Oh, great. Yeah, you know, when doctors say that, it usually means they've given up hope. Beckett! The door's not been smashed. Either they had a key or Ros knew them. They pressed the doorbell downstairs, Ros recognised the voice on this entry phone, and then she let them in. Well, that makes sense, but so? I know you always think I got Tom around from around, but wouldn't you say that was a memory chip sitting there? Looks like it, yeah. So this chip may still hold a record of the voice. Yeah, that's brilliant. But we'll need something to match it up with. Get Alex to pull the records on everybody we've come up against since the Bureau began. What about someone with a grudge from your freelance days? Or to do with Ros's electronic inventions? Some jealous rival company? Jealous rival? That's it. Where are you going? Channing Hardy. I bet he's got Ros. Channing? He lives in California. Well, there are planes, aren't there? Channing? Ros's ex-boyfriend. It's a possibility. Hello, you've reached Channing Hardy. Uh, Channing, you listen to I'm me. Sorry, I'm not going to be around for a few days, but thanks for calling. A video if you want to leave a message service. after the tone, I'll get back to you. I hate or this man. You can try our London office on double four. Hey, Beckett, hang on a minute. One six three six one eight four six, and you can reach me there. He's here in London. Now tell me that's a coincidence. His office told me that he was here. It's Hardy, Channing Hardy. I'm sorry, sir. It's hotel policy to protect the privacy of our guests at all times. But I'm an old friend. I just want to surprise him. Well, if you'd like to leave a message. So he is staying here. I didn't Research say that, sir. Skills. I said that... Channing! Your manufacturing. Channing! Nick! I don't want to work with you. Come here. Nick, where, where is What's she... going on? What have you done with her? Who? Eh? I never knew what Ross saw in you in the first place, but I never thought you stood to something like this! Like what? what? You what? couldn't bear it, could you? She chose me over you. What are you talking about? Where's Ross? What have you done with her? Ross is missing. My God, and you think I had something you to do with it? You lived on her designs all the time, and now you want her as well! Get off me! I'll have you thrown in jail for this! That's right. Jen, thank God. I could have done without all this. I'm sorry. I know how you feel. This is not going to help us find Ross. I'm sure Channing knows something. Have you spoken to him? Oh, yes, I've spoken to him. He's the man you have to thank for getting you out of here. It's pure chance I'm in London, Nick. I haven't seen or spoken to Ross since I left for California. He was on a plane halfway over the Atlantic when Ross disappeared. I think you owe Channing an apology. Channing, um, I think I owe you an apology. Do everything you can to find her, Nick. I know how much Ros means to you. Was I right? Is there something on the entry phone? Well, yeah. But this is a custom-built device. It operates at a different board rate to normal. And we haven't the gear to access it? Not quickly. Well, why don't we ask the people at Gizmos? They built it. Gizmos? Call yourself a techno freak and you haven't heard of Gizmos? Oh, the place where Roz used to work. Our old partner still runs it. Terry something. Now let's go talk to Mr. Something. Ed, have a look at this. It's fantastic. Ed? Are you all right? Yeah. Sorry. I was thinking about Ros. Being here, it, it brings back memories. 
Oh, sorry. Do you think we'll get a discount on it? Thanks. Was I right? Is there a voice on the chip? Well, all I've come up with is this. Does. Beckett. There you go. Nick Beckett was the last visitor. But he wasn't. We know that. No. Someone synthesised his voice to fool Ros into letting them in. Are you sure she's actually missing? Maybe she just had to go off at short notice. Yeah, and on her way out she trashed her own flat. I don't think so, Terry. Thanks for your help. I think the disappearance of your agent may be connected to one of the subversive groups we've been tracking. Sunstorm? Eco-activists. Been around a few years and taken on a more radical edge of late. Excuse me, sir. The security officer's here for the new codes disc. Make sure he signs for it. According to this, Sunstorm are ethical campaigners against the misuse of science. Their latest obsession is with research into human genetics. They believe that any potential for good is outweighed by the possibilities for evil. Biological weapons targeted at specific genetic groups. Exactly. Oh, Linda, there's a phone call for you. The security officer's waiting for this. It's the chief of staff for the general. I can run down with that for you. Thanks. No problem. But why are they campaigning here? We've no biological weapons program. Maybe not at the moment, but in the future, who knows? This is Chris Treacher. Odd background for a terrorist. One of Europe's leading biochemists, until Sunstorm convinced him he was doing the devil's work. OK, Chris, let's go. I think I just resigned. How long before they realize? Not till it's too late, I hope. or send a fax after the tone and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for calling. Beckett? Are you there? He said. Please, Nick, I know you're there. Pick up. Uh, this is important. I've got some news. Bad news. Found her. There's a powerful current along here. Ros is an excellent swimmer. She might not have been able to swim. Bullet holes. And there are bloodstains inside. It looks like whoever came to the flat was pursuing her. She was shot at and lost control. We found the car's central data unit. She crashed only minutes after we started searching. That's why we got nothing from the onboard tracker. I'm sorry, Becky, but even if she survived the crash, the water's only just above freezing. These bloodstains. How do we know they're Ros's? We're having it checked. You can have it checked against a bus timetable for all I care. The DNA results will prove it one way or another, Beckett. Whatever. Show me a body, Jan. Ros is not dead.
Feels like home, does it, Chris? <laughs> More like a recurring nightmare. I swore I'd never set foot in a genetics lab again. At least, not without a bomb. <laughs> That's right. Are the cameras fixed? Understood. Coach work, then. Yeah. General Russell can't have noticed his disc is missing. We've got five minutes. Which one? Chris says which one? Through here. This is where they synthesize the genetic proteins. Control, where's the warhead material? Well, it has to be here somewhere. Apparently, it doesn't show on the schematics. We're this close to a gene weapon that can decimate half of England. We can't leave now. We have to. Come on, Chris, let's get out of here. At least we can stop them from leaving any more. Chris! Video surveillance is back online. They'll catch us on the way out. No, they won't. Chris! We have to go! Is that it? Yes. Rosie's DNA match. It's downloading. The DNA results of the blood in Rosa's car. Sorry. For a member of the Secret Service, the way to death has many doors. Though we may never know the exact circumstances of her passing, we can be sure that Roz Henderson died as she lived, courageously and honorably. What more honorable death can there be than in the service of one's country? I haven't known Roz as long as some of you here, but I shall never forget her. She was an outstanding agent of huge technical brilliance, who served fearlessly and selflessly. Government service was never a natural career path, given the more colorful incidents of her early adult life. But those freelance experiences always gave Roz something of the character of a, a poacher turned gamekeeper, a useful asset in the civil service. But it is for her personal qualities that I will remember Ross. For her warmth and generosity, her love of cricket, her fondness of classic cars, and for her driving style, which was both unique 
and extremely enthusiastic. Perhaps those who are closest to her would like to say something. Beckett. Nick? I can't believe you're so willing just to write her off like that. I'd like to believe she's alive, Nick. I really would. You saw the DNA results. That was her blood in the car. So it was her blood that doesn't prove she's dead. Oh, come on, mate. You're clutching at straws. I won't give up on her, anymore. Nick! Ed! Let him go. There's been a break in at Felton Down. I need you over there. I well, can't it wait the way Beckett's feeling. Ed, I need you there now. General, I really think you should avoid making any hasty decisions on this. The project is still viable here at Felton Down. Ah, the Bureau team. I'm sorry. I feel rather responsible for all this. A disc containing details of the security here was stolen from my office. Jan briefed us. This is Dr Corcoran, project leader. I can't believe the ignorance of these people. You know who attacked you? By type. People who fear scientific progress. As I said to Jan, I suspect the hand of Sunstorm in this. I shall be in touch, Doctor. Was this their target? No, that's just where we store waste material, pending safe disposal. Now, if you'd like to come with me, I can show you exactly what we do here. In the vial Karen's holding is a combination of human genetic material and a molecularly altered virus. We've given the virus a human gene payload so that when it's administered, it delivers its genetic medicine right into the cells we want curing. In this way, we believe we can put an end to inherited diseases. Dr. Corcoran thinks we may be able to slow down the aging process itself. Well, that's something I'd volunteer for. Of course, that's a long way off. But what if that genetic payload wasn't something good? Just suppose it was something lethal. Then you'd have a very dangerous substance on your hands. But that isn't. Follow me, please. You've got cameras all over the site and no one saw anything. They did something clever to the monitors. Apparently the cameras only started working again just before all the fireworks. We might still be able to get something off that disc. Roz might have got something from it. Then we can too. I don't know what to say to him. They were really close, weren't they? Yeah. He's taking it really badly. It's so unfair, Jan. It took us so long to get together and then just... No. Look, Nick, you've got some uh, leave booked, if you'd like to take it earlier. We were going to the Canary Islands together. Roz had booked some time on the big telescope there. She was going to show me the stars, Jan. The uh, observatory manager was was a friend. 
It takes a long time to come to terms with losing something. It's not knowing that makes it so difficult, Jane. I don't know what's worse. Clinging on to hope, you know, in the face of all reason, or... You're just feeling it slip away. Just... piece by piece. Hey, I think I've got something off that Felton Down disc. Is that it? We're lucky to get anything. It's a real jigsaw. Getting closer here, Alex. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Roz. What? That's Roz! You can't even be sure it's a woman. Nick. Roz is dead. Now, I know it's hard to accept. Show me a body, Jen. Roz is alive, and this proves it. That proves nothing. Are you blind? Look at it! It's Roz! Go home, Beckett. Get some sleep, take that break and come back when you're ready. But right now, you're no use to me or the Bureau. You don't believe me either. Sorry, mate. All right. Forget it. To hell with the Bureau. I quit! If you won't help me find her, I'll find her myself. I'm sorry the ceremony was government personnel only. Roz never really talked about her work, and I knew better than to ask. She talked about you, though. All bad, I guess. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. Who else did Roz talk about, Mrs. Anderson? Oh, she had lots of friends, but only a few ever got really close. Well, they're the people I'm interested in, you see. Well, people she might turn to in a crisis. You think she's still alive, don't you? I just know that I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't get to the truth of what really happened to her. Her two oldest friends were from her wild days. Oh, well, that's Terry Williams, isn't it? You know him? Yeah. That's how I first met Roz. I rang Gizmos looking for Terry and Roz answered the phone. Terry was her first serious boyfriend. They were engaged. Maybe they would have actually got married if they hadn't been so busy fighting the revolution. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, I read a record, phone freaking and all the other stunts, but the official files, well, they're a bit thin on romance. There was a time I thought she'd end up in jail. Always too quick to risk her neck for some ideal. And Terry and Francis just ached her on. Francis? Francis de Soto. The three of them were inseparable in those days. They always said they'd do anything for each other. No, I haven't seen Rose for years. Obviously. But, uh, you were close once. That was a long time ago, when we found a sunstorm. You and Terry found a sunstorm? And Ross. The three of us did. I think it was Ross who came up with the name. You know, big solar flare that glitches up anything electronic. I can't imagine Ross as some kind of eco-warrior. Technology has always been a passion. Ross campaigned against the abuse of technology. Weapon development, industrial pollution, media monopolies. Funny. If you'd asked me back then, I'd have said Roz was the one most likely to end up somewhere like this. Instead, she sold out, working for the establishment. And, uh, what about Terry? Does he still uh, fight for the cause? Terry just sells electronics these days. Really? I heard about Roz. I'm sorry. 
Thanks. Any nearer to finding who killed her? Well, that would depend on whether you think she's dead or not. And you don't? No, I don't. And I'm not going to rest until I find her. Is there anything I can do? Well, I think there might be, actually, sir. Your chaps get anywhere with that point? I've just come from seeing Francis de Soto. Frankie? Is she out? Not yet. We had a little chat about, um, old times. I didn't know you knew her. Not my old times, Terry, your old times. Yeah. We were at university together, and I had days. Yeah, and you founded, uh, an eco-pressure group called Sunstorm. Hang on a minute, Becky. Where's this going? Very defensive, aren't you? What do you expect? Come in here accusing me. I haven't accused you of anything. I just came across the name Sunstorm and wondered, um, well, is it still active? Sunstorm? No. Put that to rest some years ago. Someone else might be using the name, huh? Maybe. But, uh, you and Rod started it up, right? Yeah. I understand you and Rosie were very close. She trusts you. I think she did, yeah. So if there was trouble, she you might... You think yeah. I had something to do with Rosie's disappearance, did you? You think she's here, don't you? Have a look around. Go ahead. Look, I understand how upset you must be, but this isn't going to get you anywhere. You're absolutely right, Siri. Look, um, I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I'm just, we're running out of places to look. I, I didn't mean anything. Believe me, I wish I could tell you where she was. speak to him. No, we couldn't take the risk. Oh, for God's sakes, Terry, why are you frightened of Beckett? He's in love with me. We have to let everyone think you're dead, even Beckett. This is all getting out of hand. Ross, you always knew this was going to be hard. Yes, but... Look, I agreed to help you with Felton Down. I agreed to help you expose the bioweapon. But playing dead, no, that was never part of the plan. I want to go and talk to him. Oh, please. Beckett can survive a bit longer without you. That's not the point. He can help us. How long do you think we can go on working undercover like this? We have to go public. We can't. Not until we know who's behind it. Maybe you can vouch for Beckett. But what about this Jan person, the people she reports to? There's someone very big running the show. Which is why we can't trust anyone. These people are so powerful, they're above suspicion. Unless we can get proof, concrete proof, they'll just deny everything. You're going to have to stay here and stay dead. When this is all over, my friend, you and I are going to have a lot of explaining to do. If you're looking for a replacement for Beckett, I have a young chap in Army Intelligence who has the perfect qualities for the job. Thank you, General, but uh, that won't be necessary. I already have someone in mind. Is that how we'll all end up? 
A name on a little brass plate in some cold room no one ever goes to. Alex, come on. Suppose I disappeared. Would you ever give up on me? Of course not, but it's not going to happen, OK? I just heard from Dr Corcoran at Felton Down. He feels his security has been unacceptably compromised. You don't say. He wants to move his stock of genetic material to a more secure site. General Russell will be responsible for it once it arrives. And en route? We will escort it. It'll test the new Bureau Chief's abilities. The new Chief? Who's that? Someone we all know. Who? You. <laughs> You're kidding. It's not a subject for humour, Ed. I'm flattered. Why me? Because I need someone I can trust. But what about Beckett? I mean... The Bureau has to go on, Ed. Beckett will understand. In that case, OK, I accept. Good. I knew I could rely on you. I've already upgraded your security clearance. As of now, you are acting bureau chief. Do I get a pay rise? Logic says the authorities will want to move the genetic material for Felton Down as soon as possible. Try now. How does a roadmap help? This is a central government database. It logs all secure transport movements. Here we go, look. There's a journey schedule from Felton Down to a military base. Now that's how we'll get our concrete proof. We intercept the stuff in transit. Yeah. Where do we hit them? Mm. Right there. I'll just make a small adjustment to their route. Pretty fancy garbage truck. I'm sorry? Isn't that where you keep the waste? Uh, normally, yes, but uh, unusual circumstances demand unusual solutions. Well, once it's on our vehicle, you can relax. We'll get it safely to General Russell for you. Is this stuff safe? Perfectly safe. This pressure vessel is twin skinned. After you. I've logged our route plan for the journey. Beckett never used to do things like that. All official journeys have to be notified to Central Security. According to the route they logged, they should be here in 12 minutes. Updated the transport database. Wouldn't we be safe with an escort or something? What? And draw attention to ourselves? So long as we look like an ordinary truck, we won't have any trouble. If you say so, Chief. This is the Bureau Chief. Patch me through to Ed and Alex, please. Identification code, please. 947 Stroke Lima. 
I'm sorry, caller, that is not a valid code. Andrew, it's me, it's Nick Beckett. I'm sorry, Mr. Beckett. DIC has removed you from the active service list. Andrew, come on, you know it's me, put me through. I'm sorry, I must follow procedure. Terminating this communication. Angela! Angela? Here they come. This is unscheduled. Check the database. Here it is. Temporary diversion. Your route's been amended. Right. Coming to you. I've got them. Right on time. I do so love the bureaucratic mind. I know. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Dr. Corcoran's office. Oh, yes, I believe. It's the first on the right. Don't ask for a receipt. Leave me alone. Look, the train has already left the station, Doctor. There's no getting off. We'll be in touch. seems ready to leave the project. That would be inconvenient. I made that perfectly clear to him. Get ready. What's going on? That's Terry. What's he doing? No! Leading with strength criminals. Quick, for it sets. Go, Teddy. Violence. If we'd left this up to you, we'd still be collecting names on petitions. Chris, what are you doing? Chris! What's your problem? This stuff can save lives. Shut up. Don't believe what Corcoran told you. It's not medical research. It's the raw material for a biological weapon. 
Come on. Stay back. Terry's right. Genetically programmed biological weapon. Where's Cross? Where's Cross? <laughs> 